What if I told you that everything you think is real? That your entire perception of reality, your thoughts, your emotions, even the way you experience time is not objective, but constructed. Today we are diving into a truth so profound that once you grasp it, your entire reality will shift. Because what you call consciousness isn't what you think it is. Most people believe consciousness is just a byproduct of the brain, that it's just neurons firing, chemicals reacting, a machine running inside your skull. But here's the problem with that idea. If consciousness was just a product of the brain, then why can't neuroscience find the source of it? Despite decades of research, scientists still can't locate where your thoughts originate. Why? Because consciousness is not produced by the brain. Instead, the brain is more like a receiver, tuning into a larger field of consciousness that exists beyond the physical world. Think about it. Your phone doesn't create the internet. It just accesses it. What if your brain is doing the same thing? Quantum mechanics already destroys the idea that reality is fixed. The double slit experiment shows that particles change their behavior when observed. This means that consciousness doesn't just passively witness reality, it actively shapes it. Delayed choice experiments suggest that our present choices can influence the past at a quantum level. Near-death experiences and consciousness studies have repeatedly documented cases where people accurately recall events while their brain was clinically dead. This means one thing, consciousness exists independently of the physical body. And if that's true, then your entire existence is something far greater than what you've been told. What this means for you? Let's get personal. You've been conditioned to believe you're just a body with a mind, a biological machine with no real power beyond what's inside your skull. But that's a lie. You are not your brain. You are the awareness beyond it. Every thought, every decision, every moment of your life is not just happening to you. You are actively creating it. Your consciousness is the projector. Reality is the screen. But most people don't know they have the power to change the film. And that's why they stay stuck in lives they don't want. Now that you know this, the question is, how do you use it? Step 1. Control your observations. Since reality responds to consciousness, start controlling what you focus on. Every thought is a quantum instruction. Negative thoughts reinforce limitations, while intentional focus on possibilities reshapes reality. Step 2. Reprogram your mind. The subconscious mind is the gateway to deeper consciousness. Practices like meditation, visualization and affirmations work because they shift the patterns of what you are tuning into. Step 3. Expand beyond the physical. You are not just a body. You're an energy field interacting with reality. Your thoughts, emotions and intentions literally alter the quantum field around you. The more you recognize this, the more you start creating reality instead of reacting to it. If you've ever felt like something about reality doesn't make sense, you were right. The world has conditioned you to believe in limits, to believe that your thoughts are private, that your actions are insignificant, that your life is random. But once you understand the mind-altering truth about consciousness, you realize nothing is random, everything is connected, and most importantly, you are in control. So now the only question is, what will you do with this power?